I was hoping Bramble Gas was going to be one of those Pokemon that just had a variety of such annoying move pools. I was able to get around a few, but to be honest, I was hoping for a little bit more because I actually really like this Pokemon's design. But let's go ahead and get right into the builds. As for the first build, we're going Choice Band. Choice Band with Power Whip, which is 120 base power. We have Phantom Force. You disappear for the first turn. You hit turn two. Pokemon can't protect because it breaks through the protection. Really cool in like VGC, uh, since a lot of Pokemon typically carry uh, protect and also in singles as well. But it's just more commonly used in, in VGC or doubles. Uh, Shadow Sneak for that priority choice band. Shadow Sneak can be really nice for you know cleaning up on some kills. We have the Terra Blast Electric. It can be really nice for some coverage. Uh, for the flying types, the water types that you know, potentially have like ice type moves. And also Fairy. Fairy can be really nice coverage for those dark Pokemon. Dark type Pokemon. Uh, there was another. What was the other one? The fire types. I, I always forget which one it is. If fairy hits fire or fire hits fairy. I forget which one it is. But nonetheless, fairy can be really nice just to avoid those dark type Pokemon. And not only that, you're going to be hitting dark type Pokemon as well with the uh, Terra Blast. Um, I did have another option here, which was uh, Pounce. Which is 100% chance to target uh, to lower the target speed by one. It is 150 uh, base power, but... Choice Band can add a little extra, a little extra oomph, you know? So, in regards to the stats, it has 115 base attack, which is going to be really strong. The defenses are not looking at its best, but do have a average speed. So, feel free to go Adamant or Jolly. Going into the next, oh, we didn't even cover the ability. The ability is actually really OP. Both abilities, actually. That's what I meant by VGC. If hit by a wind move or tailwind, you get an attack boost. Wind move immunity. So moves like Icy Wind, Hurricane, Heat Wave. This Pokemon ignores that. Typically, those moves are really popular in VGC, and you're just going to be getting attack boosts, which is actually crazy. I, I thought that was pretty scary and just a unique ability overall. This Pokemon has, you know, potential in VGC. Nonetheless, it's also got the Infiltrator ability, which is also really good. Moves, Ignore, Substitute, and Foes Reflect, Light Screen, Safeguard, Mist, or Avail. Really nice move, or ability. Moving on to the next build, we have a tanky, bulky, annoying set. We have the Leftovers item. We're going to be gaining some recovery each turn. We have the Infiltrator to, remove, uh, to ignore those Substitutes, Screens. We have Leech Seed. We're going to be regenerating health from Leech Seed leftovers. We're going to be chipping damage and we're going to be trapping the opponent with infestation for at least four to five turns. We have Strength Sap. Strength Sap user heals HP equal targets attack stat lowers attack by one. So you're going to be lowering the opponent's Pokemon's attack stat. And that's just going to make you even tankier in your defense. And just to be even more annoying, we have Protect. So if you have Leech Seed and Infestation set up, we're going to be doing Chip Damage and just more Chip Damage plus Recovery with Leech Seed. And we're going to be recovering from Leftovers item as well. It's absolutely annoying. <laughs> so that's pretty much the the, the build on, on, on this. It's go careful nature on this one we got the plus special defense with the minus uh, special attack yeah let's go ahead and go into the next build uh it's a 
just incorporating the assault vest we have wind rider ability as well if you want to go for the infiltrator feel free to do so i just figured wind rider just seems more likely if like the opponent has a heat wave icy wind or they just end up wanting to set up tailwind you'll be getting a free attack boost we're going to be going with the adamant nature and we're just going to be investing into our hit points and our attack phantom force power whip shadow sneak pounce feel free to swap out any of these moves for something else we'll go ahead and talk about that later on in the other build but we have the assault vest which is going to give us a special defense increase 1.5 but it can only select damaging moves so you can't have like leech seed on this build if you have the assault vest or you can't have like protect life orb and uh, loaded dice i kind of i'm down i'm a little doubting on this build because I mean, bullet seed's cool, but it's just an alternative. Feel free to throw in a seed bomb, if anything. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's power whip or seed bomb in this build. It's just an alternative. Like, holders, five hit multi-hit attacks will always hit at least four times. So you're at least going to hit four times with bullet seed, which I thought it was pretty cool. Just in case if you're, like, trying to break substitute on certain Pokemon, like, even after sub you'll potentially be able to do some more like some actual physical damage instead of just wanting to break the sub um phantom force we have pounce uh shadow sneak for priority if you want to exchange uh pounce for it gets another ability it gets a trailblaze 100 percent chance to raise the user speed by one this could also be beneficial for uh these other builds as well i forget which one it was I had it in one of these ones, but nonetheless, feel free to, you know, test things out. Uh, let's go ahead and look at some alternative stuff. It's got spikes. It can set up spikes. It's got curse. Curse if a ghost. Um, after every turn, you start like chipping damage to your health and the opponent's Pokemon. Uh, I think you could probably... I'm pretty sure this will work if you like use infestation uh if you're trying to be like one of those suicidal pokemon you could always you know curse infestation uh protect and maybe i don't know leech seed that way you chip down the opponent if it ends up becoming like a problematic pokemon that could be problematic for your team I was trying to see if it was able to get something else. Maybe Disable instead of Leech Seed. Want to ruin this Pokemon's day? You just lock them in. It also gets Rapid Spin. Could be a, an alternative substitute. Uh, let's see. Infuse Ray. Um, grassy Terrain. It gets Rollout. And Thief. Yeah, see, I was hoping for... A, a, a huge impact on this pokemon but it's pretty mid nonetheless yeah I, I really do like the ability wind rider but nonetheless you know you know the strats indoor weakness policy you already know weakness policy is always an option now indoor weakness policy trailblaze or a power whip Go crazy. Unfortunately, this Pokemon is probably. I was just hoping this thing was going to have like a huge variety of moves. Um, we could also do Phantom Force with, I think, Power Herb. I think Power. Oh, Power Herb's not even in the game. Oh, it is in the game. Power Herb, I believe, works with Phantom Force, if I'm not mistaken. Phantom Force could be uh, really nice to have with the Power Herb. But. Uh, it's just some things just some don't seem so worth it to have on certain Pokemon. Like you can have better options rather than using Power Herb with Phantom Force. So pretty much two turn moves end up becoming an instant hit. So 
If you use Phantom Force while you have Power Herb, you'll attack that same turn. You wouldn't attack the second turn, pretty much. But yeah, I think that's pretty much covers Bramble Blast. If you got some crazy shenanigans with this Pokemon, you know, substitute Strength Sap could be one. And just incorporate it with some other moves. It's got Nightshade. Disable. Yeah, I, I would definitely aim for these two for sure. I personally like these the most. Yeah, that pretty much covers Bramble Gas. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.